Hi, this is Scotty coming to you with my Module 3 video. Just wanted to take a few minutes to talk about my practicum. Uh, first of all, it's with an agency uh, known as Mountain Comprehensive Care Center, which is a community mental health center here in Kentucky. They have uh, offices in counties from one end of the state to the other. Uh, they started out pretty small. Uh, I don't know how it is in other states, but community mental health centers in Kentucky uh, used to be confined, confined to what they called catchment areas or regions made up of um, anywhere from eight to ten counties. Um, but uh, those regulations have relaxed in the last few years, and so community mental health centers are um, able to expand wherever they're finances and, and uh, dreams allow them to. Um, Mount Comprehensive Care Center provides services for uh, foster children, the homeless, uh, those seeking outpatient mental health, those seeking uh, MRDD services, and uh, those who seek like uh, day programs for the severely mentally ill. Um, recently, Mountain Comprehensive Care has placed several therapists' offices within primary care clinics in my area, and so that's that's where my practicum takes place. Uh, I follow a licensed professional clinical counselor whose name is Stephanie. Uh, I follow her from one office to another. She's actually got two offices that she operates out of, and. Um, she sees a host of patients, um, clients, um, from everywhere from um, toddlers through um, the folks in their late middle age uh, that we've seen so far. Uh, the younger ones are engaged in, in play therapy. Um, we've so far seen several interesting clients uh, and actually, my very first client um, was someone who I graduated high school with, uh, who I was friends with through uh, elementary school, high school. So dual relationship became an issue right from right off the bat. Um, the client uh, was, of course, given the option to allow me to to participate in her treatment sessions, uh, which she granted, and um, that has worked out well. She's been very responsive to me, even though we have known each other in the past. So, you know, in uh, in a town of uh, 1,200 people, uh, of course, the county population is a little bit larger, but. Uh, you know that, that something's going to be hard for me to avoid uh, and of course everyone is given the opportunity to um, allow me to sit in on their sessions uh, none have chosen not to at this point uh, I've seen everyone from um, a uh, 16 year old who has uh, a history of severe hallucinations and delusions to um, uh, approximately 55 year old with anxiety um, conversion disorder seems to be something that is creeping up uh, uh, with more frequency than it has when I was working community mental health years ago um, Gender identity disorder seems to be something that we're seeing a little bit more of around here, and uh, I think that kind of the the relaxed societal attitudes toward um, being more open about one's uh, gender identity or or confusion may contribute to that. Um, so, so we're seeing some teenagers that, that with those questions. Um, Folks with uh, major depression, uh, a few with grief issues. We get a, a lot of referrals uh, on um, or from primary care physicians and pediatricians wanting children to be assessed for uh, ADHD. 
um, it, it's been exciting so far, uh, trying to learn a little bit about the electronic medical record system. Uh, folks who I know that have went into community mental health, I think they found that the billing is, is about, for them, the most complicated part. Um, so hopefully I'll find out more about that later. Uh, it's good to be in class with you guys. Um, Hope you uh, hope you have good experiences and good luck, and I'll be talking to you in a couple of weeks. Thanks.